Interesting. This is signed by a bunch of people in the neurobiology department. I should see if I can find a personnel list to compare it with. I'm kind of curious to see who signed it and who didn't. Abram Linkweller must be the enemy in the department. Hey, it's the head lab rat. Don't call us that. Where have you been, Sam? I've been trying to find you for an hour. I checked in the lobby, and your name wasn't in the register. Oh, damn. It's the Sam thing. They always have me listed as a boy. I thought of that. There are no Everett's at St. Edmund Hall, and I thought you said... After the divorce, I went to my mother's name. Then I changed my mind again. Why don't I just give you my cell phone number? Cool. I'll take it. That will give me a grand total of three on my contact list. Five 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 seven eight six six five five seven two four nine six. Got that. Got that one. Got it. Did you get mine? Five 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 double two three four. I don't. We don't have one. I don't get a lot of calls. Yes. Well, how can you, darling? Well, you don't have a phone. Can we get back to the point? Did you read Ox Stew today? about what happened at the track. Maybe Styles has some kind of secret power generator hooked up to our brains. I mean, did you get a look at him? He's like a refugee from a Dark Shadows convention. He is not. He is not. You have to admit it's bizarre. And my legs are actually sore today, as if I really did run last night. Now that you mention it, Let me see. The truth is, we don't know what Styles is doing. He could be capable of anything. Unless you know Sam. You do know him well, right? Yes. You got us all into this. You wouldn't have recruited us unless you trusted the man. Of course. I've known Dr. Styles for... Sheesh. A while now. I'm sure this whole thing is just a coincidence. But if it'll make you feel better, I'll do some checking around before we go back tonight. Well, as long as you're volunteering. Uh, try the library. I hear they have books there and stuff. Shall we meet back here? What time? Noon? I'll let you know when I find out. Don't let us down, Samantha. Bye, Sam. Bye, Charles.
Damn! You need a student ID to use the library. Whatever happened to freedom of information? Helena! Helena! What are you doing? Why don't you come inside? I left my ID in my room. Can I swipe yours? No, you'll get me expelled, goth girl. Besides, walking is good exercise. Come on! Just one swipe. I'll do it so no one can see. No! I had to go twice to get a decent picture on my ID. I'm not going to risk getting it confiscated. You can do that? Get your ID redone? I told them I lost it. What can they say? I had no choice. The picture was hideous. I didn't expect to find you in the library. How hard can art history be? Hard enough. But if you want to know why I'm here, Charles Ettington. Well, good luck with the stalking. That bad, huh? Hard to believe. Do you still have the old ID? Let me see. It's awful. Let me see. The second one is much better. Don't you agree? Well, I think the new one is much better. I didn't think it was that hideous. I'll burn it when I get back to my room. I could use that trick, but I need to play something in the environment first. I actually like the first photo better. It's the way you were sitting. You're hallucinating. Show me. No, it was a trick of the light. The first one really is awful. God. <laughs> You're right. You should burn it. In fact... Why did you do that? You said you were gonna burn it. I'm sorry. Did you want it? So kind of you to spare me all that tedious labor. God, you're a freak. And I thought I was bad. That will have to do for now. Luckily, the library card reader doesn't care what the photo looks like. Probably some famous graduates. Hi. How may I be of service? Where can I find information about the professors here at Oxford? Ah, that depends. To whom do you refer? Dr. David Stiles, Neurobiology. Hmm. 
Start with the library catalogue. You can access it on the computers over there. That's the article I got from David's filing cabinet. Dr. David Stiles and his wife, Laura Edmondthorpe Stiles, left a fundraising dinner in Oxford last evening and were driving home when, when their car was hit broadside. According to eyewitnesses, the second vehicle was hurtling down a crossroad at a tremendous speed. It ran a give way sign and plunged into... Laura Stiles was pronounced dead on the scene and David Stiles was rushed. Samantha, please. They're not coming home. Come on, kid. Time to go. The head lab rat has arrived. You call us rats one more time and I'll castrate you. Lambs. What? We're lambs, not rats. The Lambs Club. What's that supposed to mean? I like it. It's better than rats. Brilliant, darling. Oh, fine. The Lambs Club. But what about Styles? What about the mad scientist who's sucking our brains dry? He's doing no such thing. Yeah, well, he's weird enough to do it. Come on, Harvey. He's not your punchline. People are always afraid of what they don't understand. Are you so perfect and popular that you can point the finger of weirdness at David Stiles? Are any of you? The man has been through hell. His wife was killed right in front of him in an accident. He himself was badly burned. And he must have gone through God knows how many skin grafts. 
but he's not mentally damaged. Or even weird. I heard it myself from an expert who's seen Dr. Stiles' medical reports. There's nothing wrong with him. He just likes his privacy. And can you blame him when everyone is so vicious? As for me, if I hear one more person pass on that lame gossip, I'm going to personally stuff it back down their throats. So you don't believe the gossip, then? Who told you about Stiles' medical reports? Mr. Headley. I never believed anything bad about Dr. Stiles. The man can do what he likes as far as I'm concerned. My family is legendary for eccentrics. My grandmama liked to get naked on the roof and wave to planes. Well, who doesn't? But what about the track? I've seen the plan for the experiment myself. It's routine. Even the department head approved it. The prank at the track is completely unrelated. Dr. Stiles is perfectly normal. <laughs>